Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Retro TV, the show where we review everything old and new, weird and wonderful. Um, and today we have something really, really weird for you from Kmart, which is the egg and toast toaster machiney thing. Let's have a look, shall we? Now if you're looking at replacing some of your appliances around the house, say your toaster, and you have one of these old junkers and you think, well I could do with something new, then no worries, pick it up, throw it away, and go to your local Kmart shop and buy something that's a little bit weird and different. The Kmart egg and toaster machine thing. I don't know about you, I've never seen anything like this before. But, we're going to have a look at it and see uh, if it does what it says on the box. So, you've gone to Kmart and you found one of these on the shelves. They do retail for $49.99, 50 bucks more like it. So, very much on the price end for any type of toaster, believe you me, for a Kmart product. Uh, but let's see what you get for your 50 bucks. Starting off, you get your box. Well, says it all doesn't it so you also get your machine which quality wise is okay it is feels nice and solidly made it's not like really cheap and tacky like uh, some other cheaper models on there so it does feel quality built um, right accessories you get your bacon meat fryer on top of that you get your egg fry pan a measuring cup for the water for the machine and that rubber thing that just fell off the bottom here. Now that's to protect the spike as you see here, so you can spike the eggs for uh, so they don't explode apparently. Uh, you get your boiler cover, your steamer cover I should say, and your accessory to put four eggs in there to cook. And also your instruction manual. Now after reading through this instruction manual, there are some kind of vague uh, instructions in there. For instance, uh, I meant with this one, we all know how long it takes to cook an egg, but in this machine it doesn't quite tell you that, but we'll get to that a little bit later on. So, it's time to put the money where your mouth is as they say, and let's test it out. Okay, so we've got the toaster set up. We're not going to worry about the toasters yet because we know what that does there. Yeah, of course you've got your, your darkening lever on the side, all that jazz, but anyway. We're more interested in the egg cooker. So we're going to do some boiled eggs to start with. We're going to put that to the test. Now on their measuring cup here, as you see, it's got three different levels on it. Soft, medium and hard. And of course it's got how many eggs you want to put in there. One, two, three, four or an either of them. Uh, we're going to do two hard boiled eggs. Now first of all, you fill it up and you fill it with water. Now the instruction says that the eggs are cooked when the water has gone from the pan. So let's put that to the test, shall we? So put our egg poachy cookie thingy on, there we go. So grab some eggs. So we're gonna do two hard boiled eggs. Now before you put them in, it does say to pin them with this pin on the bottom of the just like that. Apparently it stops them from it stops them from exploding inside there. So and it lets all the, the heat out. So there we go. Two holes in there and they must be pointing up. And as you see that comes with a rubber thing that stops you from poking yourself. So to start it up, let's switch her on. Let's put our cover on and you hit the egg button. So I'm going to time this now and I'm not going to wait here and show you all the boring bits of how long it takes for the eggs to cook. So I'll get back to you when they're ready. 
So after switching it on for the first time, it came on for about 60 seconds, then it switched the element off. And it's been about three minutes now, and it hasn't actually switched itself back on, which I find a bit funny, because I thought it would automatically do it every minute and switch itself on and off, but it doesn't. Unfortunately, you've got to keep hitting the egg button and stand here and watch them cook, uh, which I find a little bit of a disappointment for this product. And there you go again, it switched itself off. Maybe that is a safety device to stop it from overheating. But again, the problem is it doesn't switch itself back on, so it's not really cooking anything. Okay, so it's been about 13 minutes in this thing. And again, the instruction manual does say you've got to wait till the water disappears before it's cooked. Now let's take the top off, and it is going to be steaming hot, so be, be careful with that one. Um, and when you take that one out there, well, I think the instruction manual is not correct on that one because there's still half a tin of water in there. So after 13 minutes, which is kind of a magic number for boiling hard boiled eggs, so we're going to let them cool down and get back to those shortly. And next we're going to try frying an egg. So since we have water in there, well, we'll also use that one up. So what you do, so what you do, uh, you put this piece in here, I mean we've got enough water in there so we'll do that. You get your frying pan and you clip it in there like that and then you get an egg. Now unfortunately you can only do one egg in here at one time. I did try two but it did overflow and made a hell of a mess. So let's try one egg and this time we're going to try the toast and egg. So let's set that to three. Pop the toast down and hit toast and egg. There we go. So let's put the top back on again and see how it cooks. Now this should uh, hopefully not take too long. Okay, let's see how the egg went. So the toast is ready, so take the top off, and yes, if you can see right there, a nice yummy egg cooked and ready to roll. So let's uh, take that out of there and just show you. Excellent. So let's put that also on the plate and see how that went. she goes. There we go, one egg. Still a bit runny. Yeah, it's not quite there yet, but it, it sort of did the job. <laughs> sort of did the job. Okay, our last test is going to be the bacon, so let's do that one. Okay, so now it says for the uh, bacon, or the meat rack as it, as it says, uh, you clip that on there like that. And let's put some of it on here and see how well it does. So, you could probably put a couple of strips of bacon on here, but let's see how this does. Um, again, uh, problem is, it doesn't tell you any timings in the instruction manual on how to run this machine and how long you've got to do it for. So, it basically is by ear, really. Um, so, yeah, the egg didn't turn out that good. Uh, on here as you can see maybe it needed a bit more time I don't know but uh, I had that on there for well over five minutes so uh, it probably might need more so while we wait for the bag bacon there we're going to show you how the hard boiled eggs went so we'll cut them down the middle just see there so as you can see it did cook them very well nice hard boiled eggs there so yeah, okay, you know, that was 13 minutes doing it this way. But you have to keep pressing this button because this does not turn itself back on every time it switches itself off. Uh, yeah, stuff boiled egg could have been uh, a bit longer in the machine. So anyway, let's wait and see how the bacon does. Okay, so it's been well over 10 minutes on trying to cook this bacon and we're going to now see if it's ready to go and if it tastes any good. So, again, be careful, it's really hot. 
Now, first look, it's not crispy, but it has cooked it. It's more of like steamed it, is what this machine does. So let's uh, plonk this down here and uh, see how it fares out. So I'm going to try this bit here. And yeah, that can pass for some bacon. It's not crispy bacon, but yeah, it is cooked. So, all in all, to do your hard boiled eggs, you're looking at 13 minutes. The soft one could have done a little bit more on that one. That was about five. And of course, the bacon was about 10 minutes to cook your bacon in there. And of course, the toast, well, that is just like a normal toaster. That cooks when it wants to. So, uh, so, but anyway, that's our testing for the toast and egg machine. So here are my final thoughts. So there we go. That is our quick look and test of the egg and toast toast toaster machine from Kmart. Now, what is this? Who is this product aimed for? Well, obviously, if you're a family of five or three or two, and you've got a whole house full of kids, this is not going to cut the mustard for that. No, 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 no. Unless you want to wait a year and a day for it to cook everything. No, this is mainly aimed at people in small apartments for one or two people only. Only because of the amount of stuff you can put in this little area here, which is not much. Um, mm. So, as for the testing time, yes, 13 minutes for the hard boiled eggs. Now again, in the instruction manual, it does say you've got to wait for the water in this bowl here to evaporate before the eggs are ready. Now, I don't know what whoever wrote that, but that's a bit stupid because this water in here never evaporated totally. There was always still water in the end of this after every cooking cycle. So I have no idea what to believe in that instruction manual. Obviously with this thing, it's all trial and error. You've got to try it out and see what works best. And that's what we did here today. Um, yes, hard boiled eggs uh, cooked well, the soft one, as you saw, could have cooked it probably for a bit longer, but that was a five minute cooking time, and the bacon was about 10 minutes on that. Did it cook all right? Yes, it did. It did, it did the job, it cooked the eggs, it cooked the bacon. However, you do have to wait a while before it's cooked. Now, if you've got a normal frying pan and put the bacon and eggs in that, you could have had it all done within five minutes. This, you're probably looking about a good 20 minutes to get some breakfast going here. The, the downside I find with this one is the egg cycle here. So when you switch that on, it goes on for about a minute and then it switches off. Uh, of course, that is a safety element in these things so they don't overheat. However, from other appliances that do this, it is supposed to switch back on after another minute and then switch off and then switch on to keep the heat and the cooking cycle going. However, with this toaster, it doesn't do that. You've got to physically press the egg button all the time if you're just using this compartment. Uh, so you've got to stand around every minute and wait for it to cool down, and then you've got to hit the cycle button again for it to cook back up again. That's a big downside to this. You know, you've got to literally stand over it while it's cooking. I got well, the toasting side of it is just a toaster. Nothing to say about that. So I give this product a good rating of 7 out of 10 because yes, it does do the job and it's great, but it does take a long time to cook everything and uh, you can only put a small amount of food in there. But it's okay if you're on your own or well, if it's just you and your partner. But anyway, that's my review here on the Kmart Egg and Toast Toast Toaster Machine. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.